Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question, and the question is SQL Server lost connection with Active Directory, also known as AD. What will happen to SQL Server? Well, first of all, if you have uh, SQL Server services uh, uh, running under a service account, which is Active Directory account, and uh, uh, the services will not go down if it loses the connection with Active Directory. However, if SQL Server services restart, then it's not going to restart because it won't be able to verify that particular account uh, from Active Directory. Anytime SQL Server uh, restarts and, and uh, make sure the password and everything from the um, Active Directory matters, that's where it verifies. If it won't be able to verify SQL Server, if for some reason SQL Server services restart, it's not going to uh, uh, restart the services. Uh, second thing um, that um, if you have installed SQL Server in mixed mode and uh, Windows authentication mode, uh, all the users that sh that's connecting SQL Server using Windows authentication are not going to be able to connect to SQL Server because it needs to have a, a handshake with Active Directory to verify that account, whether that account um, exist in in active directory as well and third thing which is uh, minor but uh, uh, it, it can be major uh, if a sql server loses connection with active directory is that if you try to uh, create a login or a user that is windows authentication uh, and try to uh, uh, connect with the active directory uh, and connection is not successful then you won't be able to uh, create that login or that user now these are just a uh, um, high level things there are other things there are other issues that can you know uh, cause uh, it can cause a lot of issues if you have uh, active directory not talking to SQL server but these are just outstanding one that I told you I hope it helps